Welcome to the latest spooky news from Spooky Ventures. This edition is for August 16th, 2024. Spirit Halloween stores are opening all over the place, and many mainstream stores are getting Halloween merchandise on their shelves. That means we are heading into spooky season. Now, as I always say, spooky is really a lifestyle, not a season, but it's always cool when the rest of the world gets on the same page as those of us in the spooky tribe even if it only lasts for a little while. Now, speaking of spooky season, there will be some changes at Spooky Ventures for that time of year. First, and remember, you heard it here first, for the months of September and October, Spooky Movie Time with Scary Gary will be ramping up from a new episode each month to one every other week. Secondly, over here at Spooky News, we'll be doing more episodes uh, than once per month, which is what we do the rest of the year. The goal is once a week, but we might miss a week or two along the road because things will be getting pretty hectic around here. Now, before we get to the actual news, I need to get the usual announcements out of the way. First, this YouTube channel, and really everything Spooky Ventures, is supposed to be interactive, so please interact. You can do that on this channel by subscribing, liking our videos, sharing our videos, and commenting. You can also send us direct messages. There's an email address on the Spooky Ventures website at SpookyVentures.com. Next, if you want more information about any of the things we talk about here, you can find it two places. First, you can look at the details section in the video. That should be kind of right below us here in this video screen. You can also stick around until we're done talking and all the source and more information URLs will be included as title cards at the end of the video. Now with that out of the way, we should check in with our remote reporter, D.B. Lovecraft, for our first news items. D.B., are you there? Yes, Gary, I'm here. And by here, I mean a pumpkin patch working on getting into gear for peak spooky season. I'll get things going here with some book news. First, comic book publisher Dark Horse has launched a new title last week that should appeal to horror fans. It's called Arkham Horror, The Terror at the End of Time, number one. Next, the Ty West trilogy of films, X, Pearl, and Maxine, are getting novelizations. The books are going to be penned by Tim Wagner, and the first one will hit shelves in September. The second installment is scheduled for November, and the final one is due early next year. If you're interested in culinary delights along with your horror, a new book should be on your to-read list. Cooks of Horror, a ghastly collection of recipes from the author members of Books of Horror, was published earlier this month. And it features recipes and fiction from a number of horror writers and dairy. I see that you are one of them. The book can be purchased at Amazon.com and is available in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle editions. Finally, and more book news that involves you, Gary, your new collection, A Gallery of Oddities, More Collected Writings of Gary Hill, will be published on September 4th. It will be available at lulu.com. Thanks for the plugs, DB. Those are appreciated. Let me just add one thing. That Cooks of Horror book is so cool. I love the EC Comics-like cover, and the interior design is beautiful. Deborah Coldiron, who created the actual book, just did such a great job. Now, from a cookbook, let's turn to some spooky food news. In honor of the new Beetlejuice film coming to theaters, there is going to be some interesting tie-in products. Keebler will be releasing a dark chocolate and vanilla fudge striped uh, line of cookies as a tribute to the ghostess with the mostest satire. Fanta sodas will have various characters from the film on their cans and bottles. Each character will adorn a different flavor. The main man himself, Beetlejuice, will be on a brand new flavor, Haunted Apple. Next up, if you like rock music with spooky themes, and who doesn't really, you should check out the band Spellgrinder. They recently released their second album titled Planet of the Vampires, and it showcases not only their particular brand of hard rock and heavy metal, but also their horror-themed lyrical content. Before I switch it back to UDB, I wanted to talk about Legos. 
a YouTuber named Jeff Chapman recently unveiled his latest creation. It's a replica of the Lizzie Borden house done entirely with Legos. You can see the video footage of it on his YouTube channel, Spooky Bricks. That's Bricks, B-R-I-X-X. -X. Now, DB, I'll turn it back to you for some television news. Thanks, Gary. We'll start with some exciting news that came from Bruce Campbell. He's recently announced that an animated Evil Dead series is in the works. As you might guess, based on the fact that he's the one who announced it, he'll be voicing Ash in the series. Speaking of animated series, Netflix has greenlit a new Ghostbusters animated show. We know that Jason Reitman and Gil Keenan will be executive producing the show. It's reported that the series will be 3D animated. Next up, the prequel series to Stephen King's It, Welcome to Dairy, has wrapped production. Not only that, but a new teaser trailer has recently dropped for the Max series that is set to debut early next year. Now back to you, Gary, for some movie news. Thanks, DB. We'll start with Mickey Mouse news. Well, technically, it's Steamboat Willie. That's the first incarnation of Mickey Mouse, and it recently fell into the public domain. That allowed filmmakers to create a horror movie around the character. The Mouse Trap is the name of their creation, and it has been released both on Blu-ray and streaming services. Are you a fan of the Babadook? Well, if so, be ready. It's going to be coming back to theaters and some limited engagements next month. Stay alert for more updates to see where and when it will be playing near you. It was announced recently that James Wan will be doing a new Creature from the Black Lagoon movie for Universal. I am really excited for this news because the creature is my favorite of the Universal monsters. I'm even more excited about some news that came out last weekend. Director, director Richard Stanley, who gave us the brilliant H.P. Lovecraft adaptation Color Out of Space, recently announced that he's turning his attention to the Dunwich Horror next. Not only that, but he'll be doing the tale as a two-film series called Simply Dunwich, or Dunwich, depending on where you're from. In a sad piece of movie news, Charles Cipher, who played Sheriff Brackett in three installments of the Halloween franchise, recently passed away. Genre fans will also remember him from The Fog and Escape from New York. The actor was 85 years old. That brings us to the end of our actual news items, but as you probably know, if you watch our spooky news shows regularly, we'll have some dates from our calendar in a moment or two. But before we get to that, I wanted to remind you that this channel is supposed to be interactive. So please interact by liking and sharing our videos, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Also, remember that you can find source and more information URLs at the end of this video as title cards, but they're also in the details section of the video. Now, I'll turn it over to DB for a look at our spooky calendar. Thanks, Gary. Remember, everyone, you can always find the Spooky Ventures calendar at the bottom of the main page at SpookyVentures.com. We always list dates that should be of interest to fans of all things spooky. Looking to that calendar, there are three movies opening today, Alien Romulus, Crescent City, and The Deliverance. H.P. Lovecraft's birthday is next Tuesday the 20th, Stream will be released the following day. House of Bones and Strange Darling both open on Friday the 23rd. A new book from Candace Nola, Demons in My Bloodstream, will be published on Tuesday the 27th. Sheridan Life and You's birthday is the following day. Mary Shelley's birthday is on Friday the 30th. Afraid and They Listen both open that day. Now back to you, Gary. Thanks, D.B. And remember, don't forget to check the calendar out yourself. We only give you a sampling of dates. There are many more listed. DB and I will be seeing you in early September. In the meantime, remember, spooky is a lifestyle, not a season. So always keep it spooky.
Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.